Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to part two on the video regarding the videos for strategies for licensors. Okay, in the first part, we went over certain aspects of strategies that the licensor may need to engage with, um, defining your property, um, creating a licensing strategy, that kind of stuff. In this section, we're going to talk more about selecting a licensee. What criteria, as part of your strategy, do you need to put in place in selecting a proper licensee? Okay? Um, so after creating your overall licensing plan, licensors must select a licensee within the context of the business's strategic, tr strategic direction. All right, so you got all your stuff together. You got your distribution, you got your products, you got everything in place, the timing when you're gonna launch. The next thing is selecting the proper license, licensee within the context of your overall plan, okay? All right, so selecting license, some criteria for selecting a licensee, right? The product line itself, all right? What is the product line? Um, the product design, the materials used, the quality all right so if you want to select a licensee you want to make sure that they put a good product out there it's good quality they use the proper materials the design is right you don't want a terrible li license products uh, manufactured by the licensee in themselves okay you want to make sure that the product line is top-notch it's a quality quality product good materials and proper design right and then you know make sure that there are any unique characteristics are being followed by that by that licensee okay you also want to look at the licensees track record all right what is what is what is the reputation in the business have they have other have you worked with the licensee before have they um do they manufacture where do they manufacture their goods do they manufacture in-house or do they sub license out out the um, the products the subcontract out the products these are important things to know so you want to know the licensees track record what is the reputation in the business do they produce on time do they manufacture on time do they use good distributors do they get the the, uh, the final goods to the shelves right and then you want to figure out where do they manufacture do they do this all in-house or do they subcontractor subcontract it out. These are important right, when you're selecting a licensee. You know, and the most important thing, thing is can they meet the demands? All right? So if you're licensing out your your logos or your trademarks, whatever it is, and you're going to trust them with a third a third party licensee, you need to make sure that they can meet the demands necessary in order to get that product to the shelves. All right. Also, you want to make sure that the licensee has a proper distribution channels. All right. So we said in the last section, it's up for the licensee to set what those distribution channels are. They're the ones with the contacts, right? You right. You want to make sure that that licensee has existing relationships with retailers, right? And that those retailers have the sales force to get those goods sold. All right. These are both important considerations making sure that that licensee has existing relationships with retailers and that that retail outlet has the force the sales force to sell those goods all right so important thing when selecting a licensee is what the, those licensees distribution channels are next thing is long-term capabilities all right is this licensee been around have they manufactured for you previously have they will they going to be there in three years are they going to be there in five years all right, because licensees should be able to introduce new and innovative fashion forward products, products lines down the road. All right, each season come up, they need to get new product out there. All right, they need to get stuff to the shelves for Christmas, for Easter, for um, the summer months. All right, so what are the long term capabilities of the licensee? Can are they thinking ahead? Are they able to introduce product lines that are innovative and fashion forward? Okay. Another criteria for selections is how many other licenses does the, does the manufacturer currently hold? It's a question you got to ask yourself. Are they another license for them? Is that going to overburden them? Is that going? To, do they have the capacity to produce? All right. Or will you be their primary brand? 
right? They may be like have licenses with other brands. But those are secondary. We you need to ask yourself in your strategy for selecting a licensee. Or will you be their primary brand? Are they gonna are they gonna focus on your products first? All right. And also to see, you know, if they have other brands that they're create uh, manufacturing for. How significant is the promotional commitment that the licensee is going to have to, to your goods? All right, are they spreading themselves too thin to promote all the products, or are they going to be focusing on yours? All right. It's a very interesting, interesting thing to think about. All right, how many other licenses does the manufacturer currently hold? They hold a lot that may affect your brand. Okay, especially if you're not the primary brand. What you gotta really understand? What are the marketing plans that the licensee has for your property? Okay, do they're gonna be advertising? What form of advertising they're gonna use? Is it gonna be commercials? What what is it gonna be? You just want to know what their marketing plan is and the financial strength of the licensee. Right? If the licensee is overburdened or they're not paying their bills on time, if they're late with their royalty payments, if they're late with their guarantee payments, um, if they have a history of that. Their financial strength may not be that good. So do you really want to put them in a position where they may go bankrupt and they may, you may not be able to get your products to the shelves? Something you need to think about. So when you're selecting your licensee, you need to find out what their marketing plan for your property is going to be and also what their financial strength is. It is also important to know their reputation in, in, the, in the world, in the business world. All right, reputation is everything. Um, you need to... When you say you're going to produce and get it to the shelves by a certain date, you need to get it there. Okay, just remember that there are certain benefits and risk of licensing. All right, licensing is not a strategy in and of itself, right? You need to take in the total tactics or the company's overall strategy. Right. We talked about this before. Licensing strategy is a subsection of the company, your company's overall strategy. All right. So when you're doing that, though, there are certain benefits you're going to get, and there are certain risks that be involved. We went over this a little bit before. I just want to recap some of this. This is from an earlier um, PowerPoint, but some of the benefits to the licensor for licensing out their 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 um, their intellectual property fee generation. All right, licensor, they get enhanced profits from licensing out their goods. All right, you use it as a marketing tool. Right? Their little products are out there. You expand the brand. You're getting brand exposure by, you know, you have your um, Star Wars collectibles, right? your Star Wars action figures. You put them on milk, milk um, lunch boxes, umbrellas, everything else, right? So you're, you're, Expanding your brand, right? It raises that it raises awareness. All right, so they may buy other other goods of yours. All right, some you enhance your brand image, brand extension, maybe even be able to enter into new markets. All right, so these are all benefits that you get from being a licensor. All right, new product classes, all this is important. All right, so this all comes into your strategy. All right, what benefits are we going to get by licensing? What benefits are we going to get by licensing with this licensee? All right, is it going to enhance our brand? Are we going to be getting into new markets or new product classes? All right, and then you know, to make sure that the licensee is paying the royalties, they're paying them on time. All right, this helps increases your revenues over the long haul because you're getting that money in every month, every quarter, every year. All right, you can increase your revenue from nominal amount to millions by licensing out your products i was licensing out your intellectual property all right so this all comes into your strategy all right what benefit what are the benefits are going to create increased revenue greater sales all that stuff okay short video i just wanted to wrap up how you select your licensor what strategy you should i'm sorry licensee what strategies you use in selecting that licensee to get the get your manufactured goods to to the shelves for sale all right again any questions please feel free to contact me 
um, email, phone call, whatever it is. For this uh, Dropbox question, um, I don't know. I, I'm so good at this. I, pre I prepped this so much in advance. Dropbox question is, which edition of the book am I holding up? Okay. Which edition? And there it is. All right. Good luck, everybody. See you guys next week. Um, participate in the discussion board questions. Those will be coming up at the end of the week. Take care. Bye.